uh, Rainbow Chickens, South Africa's largest processor and market of chicken, is buying 64.2% of local food manufacturer Food Corp for 1.03 billion rand. Joining us for more insight is Miles Daly. He's CEO of Rainbow Chicken and Sasha Narishkin, director at Vestac, with us at the desk this afternoon as well. Welcome to you both. Uh, thanks Thank so you. much, Miles, for joining us this afternoon. Well, exciting times ahead for Rainbow Chicken, it seems. Uh, right at the top, take us through uh, the rationale behind this transaction that's that's come to the fore here. Yes, thanks very much. And as you say, very exciting times for us. Uh, when I joined Rainbow about 10 years ago, um, we looked at transforming Rainbow to a consumer goods business. I'm a great believer in brands being the way, only way you can really create long-term shareholder value. Um, so we, we did that for a couple of years and we felt now that we're in a good position to look at a growth strategy. So as we've communicated to the market for the last uh, 18 months, our focus now is on growth. And to that end, we separated Rainbow into two operating companies, one being Rainbow Chicken with its own MD and operating board, and the other being Vector Logistics. Um, we also uh, freed up myself and my FD, Rob Field, to do a little bit more work in terms of acquisitions um, and also to look um, at opportunities in Africa. So we have, it takes time uh, to look for really good opportunities, and uh, we're very excited about uh, being able to buy a controlling stake in Food Corp. Mm -hmm. Miles, I think the deal's uh, fantastic looking at it. I mean, I saw the share price was up over 5% on the opening. It's come back now. It's only up about 3.5%. Uh, there is a rights offer that's associated with this. But as I said to Alicia in the introduction, when I first started reading the SENS announcement as it came out, my eyes sort of glazed over a bit when it came to the mechanics of the deal. Then I got excited when I read the rationale. Perhaps we ought to get the mechanics of the deal out the way. Yes, I think, as you say, um one has to put a certain structure in place. But in essence, we're getting a controlling interest in Food Corps of 62.4% uh, um, for just over 1 billion rand. Um, and we're doing that uh, in conjunction with Capital. And as you will have seen from the announcement, uh, management are remaining in. So we're very pleased that we have both Capital and management remaining. As you know, Capital are an existing shareholder. So that's the way that uh, we have structured it. So, Sasha, we've got a company here to, uh, looking to diversify into new food categories. The market certainly seems to be liking uh, the news. We had uh, Lindsay alluding to the share price reaction on the back of this news. Uh, in your books, is a re-rating warranted on the back of the diversification we're seeing this company bring to the table? I think 100%. You know, milling and, and specifically groceries are very exciting um, areas for ourselves. You know, I mean, the whole convenience thing about convenience groceries, yes. that's a high growth industry plus also kind of the staples. And I'm sure it's not just going to be, uh, you know, end within our borders in South Africa. I'm sure this is probably part of the bigger picture thinking on, on, on your part without trying to preempt anything or trying to get any information. But the one question I, I had specifically is it seems at face value like you got a good price. Um, the remaining shareholders will be management. What about um, the staff? Because the staff were quite big shareholders. But I think uh, more importantly, um, how do you see those the, the growth sectors inside of the businesses that you've bought? Which are the ones that you're going to maintain the most focus on? I think, yes, coming back to your first point, uh, management are retaining their shareholding, and they have a significant stake in the business. And uh, we really regard their management very highly. Um, I know some of them well from the industry. I do too, yeah. yeah, yeah and good so, people. Yeah, so good people. So the fact that they want to remain in the business for us is very encouraging. We also have some very good talent in Rainbow. Um, also, as I said, focus now with a consumer in mind. So I think collaboration between the two entities will also give us a lot of insight into where best uh, we should focus our energies um, within the portfolio that we're now getting from Food Corps. Uh, but they have market-leading brands already. Um, and I think with a consumer goods business, it's critical to innovate. And I think Food Corps have already proven that. Rainbow have proven that in the added value uh, category. So I think we'll continue looking at innovation in all the categories that we have at our disposal. And Vector, of course, will play some sort of a role in this too. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, Vector now has its own strategy, but clearly, ultimately, it moves goods. Um, and it, it, this, at this point, largely frozen goods. Uh, but in the food service in industry, we move for people like Nando's, multi-temperature. So we'll do ambient, frozen, and chilled on, on a truck. So we have a skill set in moving goods. Um, and Vector effectively moves about 12 billion rands worth of goods a year. So it's a significant business, and we're investing in that area as well. So Vector can play a role, no doubt. Is it as simple as this, Miles, that um, 
the, the business that you're in at the moment is very much focused on one input, and that is uh, chickens. No matter how you dress that chicken up, no matter how it's chopped up into various uh, different products, the fact is that it is exposing you to uh, a cyclical market, and this deal counters that cycl cyclicality. Absolutely. Um, as you say, chicken is cyclical, and we're in, as you've seen, Astral's results came out, and we published ours a little while back. We're under enormous pressure in terms of our feed cost. Um, so all the whole industry is in trouble, and in fact, internationally, the industry is in trouble as well. So our feed costs in, in the last, wa last five years have gone from about 1.2 billion to about 2.7 billion. And to try to recover that um, is now impossible. So we've suffered from margin erosion significantly over the last while. So as you point out, um, this gives us um, a counter to that. But I think importantly, um, it is all about brands. So this is a great portfolio of brands uh, that we're getting. And as, as we indicated, that um, we w want to continue looking for other opportunities mm -hmm. as well. So it's not just about um, this particular opportunity. Where to next? Where's your glance being directed at this stage of the game, specifically when it comes to things on a geographic basis? Yes. Uh, you know, because the focus, yes, in South Africa, but Sub-Saharan Africa at large, very much on your radar screen. Yeah, Sub-Saharan Africa, definitely. And as I say, part of the restructure was to free up Rob Field and myself to focus on Africa and acquisitions. But it is difficult to set up a chicken operation in Africa. Uh, by and large, you can't import into the country because they have uh, controls there. Um, and also, a chicken operation is capital intensive. You need farms, you need uh, processing plants, distribution. So this will also provide us with a broader basket in which to leverage into Africa. Mm -hmm. Final question, uh, Miles. Uh, it says right at the end of your rationale uh, section, it says the transaction is an important first step for Rainbow as a restructured business to pursue compelling acquisitions of consumer brands in strategic growth markets. You've just spoken about sub-Saharan Africa. But from, from that statement, this sounds like the start of something much bigger, and you must be identifying already uh, potential targets. Yes, Lindsay, we've um, been looking, as I say, for the last 18 months, um, and the restructure that we put in place in January last year was to provide us with that flexibility to do that. Um, so this is a first step, and we'll keep our eyes open for any other great brand, branded food opportunities.